Hi, welcome back to the Hoops Family Network. And today we're going to talk about PCOS and the signs, the symptoms, and ways to know that maybe that's something you could be going through. So stay tuned for more information on PCOS. Hi, Amanda here, and you're watching the Hoops Family Network. And if you're new here, welcome. Please go down and hit that subscribe button and like this video as well and comment something, comment a question you may have about PCOS. So if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And PCOS, it stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. It's a hormonal condition that women get in the childbearing stages. It can affect the ability to have children. And some women may experience cysts and others don't um your doctor may call it your fertility and that was one of the most traumatic things that i've ever had to hear was being diagnosed with it because first i was diagnosed with um, Cushing's and then it went from Cushing's disease to PCOS it can cause acne unwanted facial hair and body unwanted body hair as well it can raise the risk of other health problems including diabetes high blood pressure and high blood pressure it can be treated and you still can get pregnant you just may need meds to improve your fertility um some people with pco not some some women have cysts on their ovaries, and that's why it's called polycystic. It can be misled because many with PCOS don't even know that they have it or that it even exists. It's so, what do I want to say? It's so common, but it's not. Like, like you could just be thinking you're gaining weight. You could just, and a lot of people don't know that they have it because they've always had unregular periods or this intense cramping, which could be cysts, but you don't know you have it. Um, because a lot of cysts too are that well, they're internal, so you're not gonna see it. So you could just be thinking you're having a regular period cramp, and it's not. Okay. Hormones and PCOS. Your reproductive hormones are out of balance. That's pretty much what it is. Your causes are problems to the ovaries there's no period or you're not on time so you could go three months without a period and the next period end up being a two-day period and then go back to not having them 
or even the opposite, you could end up having it for three months straight and then not having it. So either way, your hormones and PCOS are androgens, which the male hormone that women have as well. But women with PCOS have higher levels. Just like testosterone. It's not just in males, like you would think. Women with PCOS have high testosterone levels as well. Which is what causes the unwanted facial hair or the unwanted body hair as well. Insulin, it manages your blood sugar. With PCOS, your body may not react to the insulin right. So, you could be borderline diabetic. If you do, if your body does not process the sugar well, then it's like you're a diabetic, but your levels may not consider you a diabetic. That's why I am currently doing a um, low-carb diet because the ingredients and sugars and everything like in the low-carb diet and in moderation is enough that I eat, but it's not high sugars that are just turning right into fat. And progesterone. With PCOS, you may miss your period or have trouble predicting it. So progesterone is the hormone that starts, stops your period and helps you predict it. And if you don't have a period for three months, your doctor may give you progesterone to help start your period so you don't get blocked. Your symptoms. The most common symptoms are missed, irregular, prolonged, period. That's simple as that. Um, excess androgens can cause hair loss, hair in places you don't want, and acne. So I'm sorry, but if you were that teenager that was covered in acne, you, you may still be continuing to have that. Or you could be like me that never had so much. I mean, I actually have a little bit right now. Um, back in high school, I never really had it very much. So I'm dealing with it all now. Other symptoms are darkened skin or skin tags up. Excuse me. Darkened skin or skin tags on neck and armpits. And I've noticed too a lot lately. I've been getting them. In random places. Your mood changes. You have pelvic pains which could be from cysts. And weight gain. The causes, it can be hereditary or produce too much insulin and it affects the ovaries and the ability to ovulate. So that's how PCOS can be caused, is you could either get it passed down hereditary or you become insulin resistant and... Um, your ovaries just cannot ovulate. Doctors do not know why that some women get PCOS. It just, they cannot figure out the why.
the diagnosis. They may start by asking your symptoms and your medical history and getting a physical exam and you may need a pelvic exam as well. That's how mine was discovered. I was having pains and when they did an ultrasound, they were able to locate where the cysts were and to make sure that they hadn't ruptured and um, not a lot of doctors knew about PCOS. Like it's not a lot get diagnosed right away. They may get, get you blood tests as well. It'll measure the hormone levels in your blood sugar and cholesterol. Like I said, the ultrasound can check for the ovaries for cysts. And they may look for tumors and measure the lining of your uterus as well to see how much buildup is in the uterus. In treatment, it depends on the age, your symptoms, and if you want to become pregnant. If you're overweight, losing 5 to 10% of your body weight can make a huge difference in getting pregnant. It can help improve your meds and your fertility. So even just losing weight could be enough to help you get pregnant. Sometimes metformin is prescribed to lower insulin resistance, regulate ovulation, and help with the weight loss. I personally was put on metformin, and I noticed I was losing weight. It was just shedding off. Um, a lot of that was just water weight. And if you're not planning to get pregnant, Birth control could be prescribed, like the patch or the pill. It can lower your risk of endometrial cancer. It'll help you get your periods back on track, clear up any acne, and lessen the extra body hair. So it'll help your hormones get back to where they're supposed to be and help those symptoms either go away or they may it may just be enough to get them regulated if you're wanting to get pregnant fertility meds can help to release the eggs so they can put you on they can put you on um like clomed and there's some other ones out there as well to help boost your fertility to help you get pregnant I personally was put on metformin in after maybe three months is when I got I got pregnant naturally so I didn't need the I didn't need the fertility meds to help but it is possible and you'll have to watch my video on can someone with PCOS get pregnant on their own because I tell my story about having PCOS and giving birth and finding out I was pregnant and all. So that is going to conclude our video on what is PCOS. If you have any other questions that I may not have covered in this video, please don't be afraid to leave them in the comments because someone may have the same questions as you. So Thank you for your time today, and thank you for watching this video. I can't believe we're over 600 subscribers, and I have you guys to thank for that. Um, so, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. And, again, please leave any questions or comments. Maybe you can think, you may have PCOS. Um, it would be nice to, eat, to hear your stories as well. Um, so please, don't be shy. I will answer all questions and comments. 
So have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye.